How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are taking on the newest stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history versus the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament. Um, we're going to go ahead and use a full world tournament team to clear this. After all, you do need um, an Earthbred fighter setup and a world tournament setup in order to clear all the missions. So we figured just go ahead and go with a world tournament and take down uh, two birds with one stone here. So we've got the EZA Cyborg Tau and the EZA Mighty Mask who share a surprising amount of links. I was actually very surprised at the amount of links that they share. Um, so. Uh, we'll just keep them two together until we get the Great Ape Goku over here. Basically, the plan is keep one friend World Tournament Goku on rotation. Um, uh, we'll probably keep him next to the Jackie Chun. Um, and then we'll have the Great Ape Goku on this rotation stacking. I think that's kind of the basic setup that we want to go for here. destroying this world I won't let it happen all right so we did get the Goku and uh, Jackie Chun together so we'll run them um, this way he'll be supporting the Goku um, and basically he'll be our sort of ringer right he'll be our ace in the hole to help us just kind of clear through this um, I'm worried that great ape Goku may not stack fast enough uh, to be helpful but I mean we'll just see it is infinite dragon ball history it's not terribly hard but it's more about making teams that can clear the missions but lucky for us most of the easy a's that have released for the world tournament as of late are actually quite good even the mighty mask isn't that bad um he's not the worst ever and the Tao, i mean a lot of people are disappointed in him but he's not that bad i mean he's not red zone worthy or anything but you know for an easy a super strike unit He's not that bad. They set the bar kind of high with Int-16, but, I mean, he's on par with just about the rest of them, I would say. So, I wouldn't call him a disappointment, given that. Alright, so, we got Goku here. Let's put him here. Let's let... I guess we take the one possible attack we can take. Alright, so we'll take the one hit. I mean, imagine he gets three supers and just solos this phase. And there's the second one. Alright, well, okay, two was all we needed. <laughs> okay. And, surprisingly, we get the trans Great Ape transformation. Okay. Alright, so... And it's against the end phase. We might just solo the end phase with the Great 8 transformation here. Alright, let's grab that. Uh, okay. And... We got this. Here we go. All right, we get another turn of giant form, actually. We may just do this after all. We'll grab that. We did miss one key with the, uh, with the first great ape. That's okay. Still do a little bit of damage there. We get an additional normal. Okay, final super here. Oh, not quite. Okay, that's fine, because now that gives us a stack for the Goku. So you know what? I guess we take it. Let's grab those. Um, let's grab that. And we'll grab that with the GT Duo. Excellent. Perfect. All right, let's see here. Um, let's grab that. All 
All right, and we'll send off my mask. He seems to be working all right in the third slot, so that's not too bad. Oh man, look at that TN. I really wish I pulled that guy, but hey, we don't even get to see the rest of the super attack because guess what we did? We nullified it. There we go, we get the additional normal. Okay, so not quite one turning it this time around, but that's only because we didn't get any additional supers. All right, Mighty Mask, it's up to you. And he does it, wow, surprisingly. All right, so that takes us into the Master Shen and we get another, wow, okay. I didn't realize he could do it twice. All right, so let's grab that. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. All right, nice, we get an additional super. We get an additional normal, but he does dodge it. All right. And we get the second form of giant form, or second turn of giant form, rather. So let's grab that. Um, let's take that. We will only get one attack, but that's okay. Ooh, okay. Really, really bad key this turn. There's one. Okay, no extra super this turn. Nice, we still get the additional super, even though uh, we only got the normal. Oh, we get another turn of giant form, okay. Let's grab this. Um, let's take that. Oh, okay, bad key setup. All right, well, well, at least we got for the first two. So there's the first super. And nice, we get the additional. Hey, there we go, we get a crit, and one more super. If this is a crit, I think he's done. Oh, just barely. So we'll finish him with that final normal error. Nice, so we got four supers in a row there. Excellent, so that brings us into the next phase versus Piccolo Jr. Now, I think he can still attack this turn, right? Yeah, let's grab that. Because it's changing the phase, I think Piccolo Jr. now has the ability to attack. Boo and Hercule should be fine in the third slot. They do greatly raise defense on super. Yeah, there's that super attack. They do greatly raise defense on super, and they have the chance to dodge, so I don't think we have to worry too much about them. Ooh, wow, that kind of did a lot, despite being type advantage. Okay, so Hercule and Boo hopefully can tank the hits here. Oh wow, yeah, okay. Alrighty, so let's do that number. Alright, let's grab that. Alright, we'll try to avoid getting the Dokkan attack, at least until the next turn, if we can. All right, there goes the additional super. And we get another additional. Excellent, here we go. Right, and I think this is the final phase against the Goku here, so let's make sure we're set up okay. Um. Uh, oop, not you. Okay. Um, did they get any rays on their super? 
I use attack and defense. Ooh, but he's greatly raising. Okay, he might be the better slot to put there. Yeah? Okay. So let's grab that with uh, Great Ape Kid Goku. Grab that with Mighty Mask. He just needs to be protected. And we'll grab that with Cyborg Tao. And we'll have the Dokkan attack for the Great Ape Kid Goku. Time to get serious. Alright, let's go one. Oh, okay. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so somehow we managed to miss the very first one. Him supering has me worried here. Yeah, 170k, that's kind of a lot. There we go. We get the additional super with the Cyborg Tau. Oh wow, we actually pulled off three supers with him. Very nice. That's not bad at all. And I think this is going to be our last turn. Let's throw Goku in front. Let's grab that. Let's grab that with the Jaggy Chun. And let's finish this. Alrighty, so there you have it. There is a full free-to-play world tournament team versus the newest stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. So I wanted to take this on using the full free-to-play team. One, because I, I really wanted to see how far along the world tournament category has come. And it's gotten quite the significant buffs this year. And I'm really glad with, uh, you know, the way the team is turning out. Some of the characters are, are really really surprising me. The Great Ape Goku still holding up. That Cyborg Tao really came out of nowhere. I was not expecting him to pull that off there at the end. And of course, obviously we've seen LR Jackie Chun doing the work that he does. So very nice run. Hopefully this helps you guys out if you're somebody who maybe hasn't pulled a lot of the characters on World Tournament or on um, Earthbred Fighters. You can use a team set up like this, which will cover the whole spectrum and is completely free to play so anyways guys that is the video if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let me know what team did you use to clear this stage of infinite dragon ball history and get all of the missions cleared let me know in the comments down below are you somebody who just kind of took a mission by mission let me know in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha